Hey there, everybody. Happy December. We've been working away at multiple projects, and so one of those has been uh, adding to the amount of wood chips and pathways. And you can see that we got some weather yesterday, and it's uh, kind of sticking around, which is, you know, par for the course. It's what's supposed to happen this time of year, but it was kind of surprising. Um, but you know, um, we've talked before about how working on a project uh, with a single-minded focus can sometimes burn you out or make you uh, lose clarity on the scale or scope or um, design itself or the intentions. Um, and so a lot of what I do is um, broken up into chunks of the day where I'll work on one thing or work on another and then um, kind of switch it up, give myself a different environment and uh, workflow and just kind of chip away at projects. And um, I think that's healthier and you can see the amount of progress that adds up as you do that sort of practice. And so I thought it might be uh, fun to kind of show you guys where those are. Um, the couple of new spaces that we've deposited them in and how it's all starting to come together and how the rest of that design flows from those um, incremental, fundamental changes in the structure of your food forest, forest garden, whatever you want to call it. So let's, let's take a look. We're down over by the Bentwood Arch that we created with the help of Mother Nature. And we've chipped fairly heavily. I'm gonna step down here so you can kind of see the rise on these wood chips. And so here, right, right in there, is about the actual height. And I've probably got five to six inches of rise in the wood chips and while the slope itself is not entirely stabilized yet, um, standing on the edges, there's enough frozen water holding them together, and that'll start to be a mycelial mat that'll hold this together. Um, it's pretty stable. Um, and we have chipped out over to the main tractor path. Um, but we've also accentuated this space, which surrounds a garden space here that will receive mulch um, once the town or some of our other friends begin dropping off. It borders this space, which will receive the same treatment. And then my plan, there's a tiny little cutout over there. You might be able to see. Yeah. It's like right in there. That is going to be another pathway that will slow any water moving through this space after we get it planted. My intention is to direct this path sort of down this way so that there's kind of a break. I'm unsure if I'm going to put a, a pathway going down that way yet. We'll see how the design takes me, but we have my little forsythia in the woods patch and I'd like to bound this area up here. You can kind of see what we've been using the beach to mark. And so each of these little chunks in between the wood chip pathways will start getting mulched more deliberately to start growing and building up that soil fertility in those areas. Likewise, these guys in between there are some strawberries and monardas and raspberries and blackberries planted already, uh, and we've been sticking elder cuttings as well, um, but these will get mulched once we start receiving that type of materials. And if we continue over this way, you can see another mostly fresh path over here that is starting to snake in between those two trees and come around which will meet up with this pathway here that borders this brush pile and provides 
an access way into some of the paths <laughs> that we've cleared. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've said it before, we're all, we're all just inspired by nature on this site. Um, the paths are, generally speaking, uh, advantageous to us, but they're also the paths that the dog likes to uh, tear through. And so we're, we're slowly distributing more and more chips over to that crossroads so that I can bring some in here and build up this pathway and maybe bring some in here for a little like keyhole garden in this space here and I think that would be cute and so that's how that's how things are coming together um, but this is only one of the projects that I have been working on recently um, and the other one has been um, kind of an inside project for when I get sore due to my old shoulder injury from moving all these chips or when I get tired physically and need a little bit of brain exercise I'll, uh, I'll go inside and work on my handful of typing projects but I, um, I pretty much wrapped one up today a typing project, that is um, and under the auspices of our educational bent on this channel and my digital native millennial mind feeling that knowledge hoarded or gatekept is knowledge wasted. Um, I'm dropping a link in the description below to um, a spreadsheet I've built from scratch um, that incorporates the information from the edible forest gardens plant species matrix into a fully filterable spreadsheet so that you can research and plan or discover soil types by observing the types of trees in your area and your site. And so um, if you have the means to do so, I encourage you to check out the full books. It's uh, Edible Forest Gardens, Volumes 1 and 2, by Dave Jackie and Eric Tonesmeyer. Um, I refuse to link to Amazon, so buy it direct from their publisher. And um, if you think that the spreadsheet is useful and you'd like to support that sort of work from us, we certainly appreciate it. There are links available. And um, yeah, I know I don't say this often, but if you think that's awesome and uh, you'd like to bump the channel for that sort of thing, we'd appreciate that too. Yeah, so now that I've finished the typing project, I think it's time for me to get back to the physical work. Um, I'm unsure where the town crew is at at this moment because I've seen them drive by a few times. I've heard the chipper going, but I haven't seen him drop off yet. So once that happens, we'll we'll do a little update once I have some things in place. But that's the next phase of this expansion into the forest garden. It's going to be taking the last of these super fine chips, spreading them out, adding leaves and other chips to the spaces in between the paths to bulk them and to provide fresh growing medium for the plants that will be growing out next year. So, yeah. I hope you guys find this video and uh, that spreadsheet helpful. As always, thanks for watching. Happy planting.